In this demonstration, you'll learn how to merge injections into a single measured data content to read into Ensight. Currently, when you have multiple injections from Fluent and export them to the Ensight format, each different injection is written separately and not to the same case file. In order to read that easily in Ensight, I have to merge the injections into a single measured data content. In this example, I have three different measured injections, each having two time steps and several variables associated with them. I am consistent with the number of variables and the number of time steps between all of the injections. I'll click on the Python utility for a moment. I have the option to slightly edit the top of the file. The injection list is basically the different number of injections. The variables list is the extension on the end of the file for each of the variables that I have. With these two variable lists, including the time, I can easily construct the file names to our left. In recap, I have three injections, four variables, and two time steps. I can edit these to be specific to other cases based on how I exported my injection list the variable names and the time lists as well. Once I have done that, this routine will use all three lists to construct the files over which I will convert into a single measured data content that I'll be able to view from within Ensight. To do so, I'll open a terminal window to that same location. I'll type cpython and then call the routine. It'll print out the time steps and the files that it is working on. It gives me an idea of what is occurring. What you should have in your directory after you are done is a set of files with the all injection prefix. These are going to take the variable names from all of the files that I have and convert them out into a format that I can use. In this example, I've written out a dummy geo file so that I can inspect the file on its own. However, if I want to integrate this in my continuous domain, I just need to simply edit the case file. All I need to do is take the scalar per measured node information shown here and copy it into my main case file, as well as the measured information. That's all the information needed. I also created a dummy variable here for my geometry and a geogeometry file. The reason I did this is to be able to load it here without having to have another data set with me. When I load the case file into Ensight, I should see multiple injections and one extra variable that I converted out, and that's an injection ID. I have a dummy part here. I can just turn this off for now. I just need to have my geometry part visible. I'll make these points bigger to see them more clearly. I have the scalars I converted out from Fluent, in this case temperature, mass, and diameter. I also have a new variable here named injection ID, which is created by the routine so that I can still differentiate between the different injections. Even though I merged them together to one measured particle, I can still use this injection ID as a way of separating them back out within Ensight. If I only wanted to look at injection ID 1, I just go to the element filtering and turn on an active filter for injection ID greater than 1.1 and then press apply. I'm filtering out anything that has an injection ID greater than 1. We will just get the particles that are with an injection ID of 1. I can still work with separate injections, although we have a single measured data part within Ensight. This utility allows me to utilize multiple injections within a single session of Ensight. This concludes our demonstration on how to merge injections into a single measured data content to read into Ensight.